have a reason. And um, Carol, what's your usual field of occupation? Um, I've been a carer for my son. Okay. Who had a stroke at six. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well. So I've been his carer. Mm -hmm. In 2015, he also became a full-blown diabetic. Right. Which he wasn't able to care for himself, so mum did that. And a month after he became a diabetic, he had a brain aneurysm. So for two years, we were twins. He couldn't be out of my sight. His only private time was in the bathroom. I see. So I've been his carer. His dad's also had a stroke and he's in aged care. Um, so it's been a pretty <coughs> traumatic couple of years, but my son's just gone into assisted living. I see, yeah. yeah so, and he's really happy, so mum's really happy. So now I can start doing things for me, which is what I've done. Right. Is doing meditation, a lot of prayer, and looking for guidance. Yeah. Trying to get rid of all that stuff that you build up, which Shrey was talking about. So you get rid of that negative stuff that's still in there, still in here, yeah. and try and get it all out so I can live a productive life full of happiness and enjoy. Well, sounds like this weekend is for you. It was. <laughs> Did Some you... of the things he was saying, just it was like he wrote them for me. It was really incredible this afternoon when he was talking. So, and I really wanted to tell him that. You wrote that, especially for me. Wherever you found that, even though you didn't write it, you know, it just came to you. It was like you were talking solely to me. Forget about all those other 200 people that were in there. That was for me. And I took that on board and I went home and I was writing madly and then it just all started to flow really easy and I just wrote down some amazing things, some amazing messages I got from him. That's beautiful. Yeah. So you were at the intensive healing evening. Yes. So how was that experience like for you? Um, well, I'd seen Shrek uh, like on Facebook before and thought about going but never did. And then I thought, saw it months ago and said, I'm going to that and I need to be there that weekend. Well, I've had acute back pain. I've had a knee replacement, which aggravated my back and I've been crippled for nearly two years. Today, I haven't taken painkillers and I've only got a niggle in this knee, not any pain anywhere else. I sat this afternoon, like I can burst, I could burst out crying, I'm so happy. It just, I haven't got back pain. And, I, and that's one of his funny jokes. You say, you got back pain? Mm, yeah. But, you know, I've tried pain therapy. I've tried everything. I tried Pilates. I've tried the exercises, the pain clinics. Friday night, I have no pain. It's amazing. And I feel like I, my whole being is being light. I feel light. And even though I'm emotional, I'm really happy. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm so grateful so just to be here. Yeah. I feel like it's a gift. I'm, uh, I'm really touched by, uh, by your transformation. Yeah. And just, um, just uh, a joyful with you for this yeah. new burst of life that is coming to I could follow him around the world tomorrow. <laughs> True, I mean that. This back pain that you were talking yeah. about, um, was that a chronic condition for you? Yes. Yeah. How many years were you suffering that? Um, it's triggered off by my leg being, my knee being collapsed and they didn't want to do surgery mm -hmm. until I was 65. So it's put my back out, so when they put my knee did my knee replacement, that aggravated that, so I went into chronic pain. I ended up having to take those really bad drugs and it was a really big cocktail of things to get the pain under control. And I didn't want to live like that. I don't want to live in a fog of pain and drugs. Backed them up, took them all to the chemist. So I've tried to survive with physio and all that kind of stuff and just mild medication but it's something that, like it nearly cripples me to to walk around a supermarket or to stand up for any length of time what's the pain usually at out at, of at a scale of one to ten? Ten. Ten. yeah right and what is it, it right now 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have no pain in my right knee and I'm crippled. I usually shuffle along. I have no pain in my left knee or the right leg. Wow. And today I've only had a little niggle in there, which is like one. It's nothing. How, um, how would you even describe Sri Amash's healing ability? Well, that's what I tried to write this afternoon. And I rang up my daughter-in-law and I said, I don't even know how to explain this. It's so incredible. You feel like his whole, he's given out this whole, how does he do it for everybody? So many people. And just give that. And it feels like it just overtakes you, even when he did the blessing. It's like he puts his hand on your head and there's an explosion inside of you. And I felt it went straight to my heart, but I know I'll store all my stuff. And that's what I felt it was, and it was like, let it go, let it go. And I went home, and that's what I wrote. It's time to let it all go, start afresh. And I can go back to the Gold Coast tomorrow, knowing that I'm enlightened and I've got a better path to move forward. <laughs> I really mean that. I really. It's changed, it'll change my life. I thought meditation had changed my life. You know, trying to get in that stillness place and in that place of being mindfulness and that kind of stuff. This doesn't even explain what's happened here. And there's hundreds of people here for saying exactly the same thing. What do you think about Sri Avanash's ability to heal an entire room full of people like that? It's outstanding, you know, how do you put it into words? Because I thought about that on Friday night. There was, you expect 200 and something people and you got 450 people. The power that that involves to give out to people. He must be exhausted. He's not. And that's what the ladies, some of the old ladies, said he's not, he just, he's, it's just coming through him and going to, to, out to everyone else, it's not. He's just the vessel to deliver it. And what an incredible vessel. And the people that have benefited from this weekend, that have never even meditated or thought about coming to anything like this, and I'm one of them, that I'm just, I'm astounded, I'm blown away, I'm just, I'm just so full of just his love that he gave to us. And I can carry that away for a new start to my life. Honestly and wholeheartedly. I know I've got a reason to keep on doing it. He's just given me the path and the tools. Thank you. Thank you too. The tools that you're talking of, these meditation techniques that he teaches and other things that he teaches through his spiritual talks or talks about how he works, um, how would you um, explain his teaching style? Is it easy? Is it complicated? Is it? No, it's really down to earth. It's everyone can understand what he's saying. I don't think there's any complication in anything he says. It's really open honest and easy to understand. I don't know if you were in the part of the room to see this, but at the end of the healing transmission last night that he gave to the whole room full of people, he asked people at the end to raise their hand if they felt a significant change. Mm -hmm. And um, I witnessed approximately 85% of people raise their hands up. Did you see? Did you see no, that? No, I was down the front, but I, I was one of them. Oh, you were one of them. No, I was there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I was in the front row. I see, I see. It was quite a sight to behold. I was yeah. right at the back. I mean, you see a sea of hands raised. Yeah. And you just kind of go, whoa. Yeah, to change so many people's lives, to empower them. Yeah. Your pain's still nothing, is it? Yep. Amazing. Yeah. And my back pain has acute. I mean, I've got lower bulging discs, three discs in the lower back that are stuck out the side and I'm not going to have surgery because they can't guarantee that, that it will fix what it is, but I have no pain, I have no
had any pain since last night. So grateful. Just, yeah, I'm very emotional, sorry. It just comes with the, yeah, just being so blessed. So the gifts that he's given us are just incredible. And so what would your recommendation be to others who are in your shoes, you know, thinking about it? I would recommend anyone come and see, whether it be a free course or a paying course, change your life, change your heart. What do you say? Mind, body, soul. What has it's been a change for that light? I can, you know, I'll be able to do more things because I don't have any pain. I can spread the word and I will. <laughs> I will, I'll tell as many people as I possibly can they should see him whenever they can.